What's going on guys? We're back with a quick video that I wanted to make real quick uh, about uh, the Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish review. So this is the old uh, trim that's coming off the car. This is uh, one of the outer door trims. And this is a replacement part, a full part that I got from LMR. I got it mostly just for the rubber, for the new seal with the, the Velcro. This one is all dry rotted and cracked on the, on the other side. And this is brand spanking new. So we're going to be putting this onto, onto this, not onto the car just yet. We're still fixing things with the door. So let me show you guys real quick, remove the, the door panel. And uh, there's a lot of lubing and uh, cleaning that we have to do. I'm gonna do sound detonating inside the interior, but that's gonna be a whole nother video. Right now, I just wanna focus on fixing this trim, using the polish and making a little, uh, I guess the product review on seeing how it, how it cleans up this. What I'm gonna be doing uh, is degreasing this as well. So I'll, I'll tear off all of, this, uh, all of this old rubber, degrease it, clean it very nicely, and then uh, get to going with the polish and then we'll get a finished look with the uh, new rubber on it. So the rubber was hooked into these bars right here. So the rubber came off finally. With a good wash down, you can see how much cleaner underneath these actually were. Uh, just some water and a microfiber, really getting all the, the dirt off, most of the surface dirt and everything that could have uh, came off with water. Some good scrubbing, no actual soap yet, but to get all the decontaminants and everything out, I'm using the sweet patina so fresh and so clean. This is just what I have. It's a good all-purpose cleaner. But you can also just use any kind of uh, degreaser like, you know, Dawn just soap or uh, just some alcohol to make sure that, you know, the the surface of this of your metal or aluminum trim is actually just in really nice uh, clean shape before applying the, the aluminum polish. So I'm going to go ahead and get the, the sweet patina uh, cleaner and just uh, wipe down this top. I'm done with the degreaser. I'm just gonna grab some of the, the mothers real quick. Not too much, just enough. I wanna do just this top part right here. Get it a good spread. And then just go to town. Polish working right here versus what it looked like beforehand. All right here. Yeah, it's working out. Coming out good. Continue this when I'm done with the rest of it. Here's hopefully a better look at the shine after one pass. Uh, I do plan to do another one. I'm gonna show that one as well, but here's just after one pass with the polish. I didn't go too hard. I know a lot of people really uh, go crazy on the first pass, but I just, uh, doing it by hand, I didn't have any kind of uh, wheel to really you know, work it in that well. So by hand it is, I'm gonna do a second layer and I'll show you the guys the result after that. All right, right here, some good comparison of how the mothers did. This is just hand hand scrubbing for about two minutes all over it. Thing came out really good compared to the original. It's straight off the car, how it looked, still all the dirt and dust on it. The, the mothers really, really cleaned up good. Um, I could do a compound and, and polish and all that to get the actual deeper kind of contaminants out of it, but I'm just not trying to go that far in with this build right now. That'll be, you know, down the line later on when this car is actually running and going. And I want it to look, you know, show, like a show car. But this, this is more than good for right now. So I'll be attaching this rubber, or yeah, so the rubber pieces onto it. And, uh, you know, making the switch and putting it back on. On the other side, and here's a closer comparison between the polished and unpolished side. This is polished, this is unpolished and cleaned. This is polished, cleaned. So, let me see if you... Right here seems to be a better look at that. You can see all the tarnish still right there. A little bit still right there, but definitely brought out some more clarity. The haze is just so, so bad on this. Here, it's getting better. I'll be polishing this one and putting it back onto the other rubber and then showing you guys the final product. Here's both trims done up, polished well. I think that came out really good. They're gonna look really good back on the car once uh, we're all finished with the exterior stuff that we do. This is uh, gonna be a process, so this probably might not go back on the car for another month or so. There may be more, um, but I just definitely wanted to get ahead and, and just look at this, because this was probably the easiest part to do, and it would make the biggest difference, really. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, separate from like the Roach series videos. I just wanted to make this as a aluminum polish on aluminum trim uh, kind of video. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I used the uh, Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish along with uh, some So Fresh and So Clean from Sweet Patina. And this is the end product. 
really gonna enjoy this one. All right, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a good one.